morning. So today, or in this particular session, I will be starting with the projections of plane surfaces. In the previous sessions, we have uh, covered the orthogonal projections, then we have done projection of points and projections of lines. And in this particular session, I will start with projections of plane surfaces. So before going for projections, I should know what exactly we mean by a plane surface. So if I say a plane surface, so everybody knows that a plane surface should have two dimensions. That is, I can say it has got length as well as breadth. But still, thickness should be there now, but generally we consider the thickness to be unity or I can say dimensions. Or if you have a solid, I told you that a solid has got three dimensions. So a solid has got length, breadth as well as thickness. If I make that thickness zero, then it becomes a plane surface. So it is as simple as that. Okay. Now generally in our analysis, we will be considering some of the simple plane surfaces such as I can say we have a square surface or I simply can say we have a square or I can say we have a rectangle then we will be considering a polygon so you know that a polygon has got more than one side okay generally speaking even your square even a rectangle is also a polygon okay but the other important polygons we considered will be pentagon so as the name indicates, a pentagon has got five sides and if you consider, let us say hexagon, so hexagon has got six sides. So these are the plane figures we consider. Along with this, uh, whatever is polygons, we also consider a circular lamina. Now just for illustration purpose, I am just going to show these uh, polygons. So you can just identify. So what is this particular uh, polygon I am showing. So as you can see, this particular polygon has got three sides. And remember, whenever I consider these plane surfaces, we consider these plane surfaces has got regular plane surfaces. If I say regular means all the sides are same. Because I don't want to consider the sides to be different. So we are considering regular polygons. Okay. So as you can see, this particular polygon, I mean uh, plane surface, what I am showing will be having three sides. Since it is three sides, we consider this to be a triangular lamina. So either I can say a lamina or I can say a plane surface or I can say simply I can say plane also. Okay. But generally even in the case of uh, a triangular lamina, we can have two types. So either we can have a lamina of this nature or triangular lamina having all the three sides are same. Okay. So since all the three sides are same, and also we can have two types. So one is I can say an isosceles triangle or I can say a right angled triangle. But generally we consider a polygon such that all the sides making equal inclinations. That is we are considering inclinations is to be all of 60 degrees only. Is it okay? So we are going to consider unless otherwise specified we consider a triangular lamina having the included angles as 60 degrees otherwise. Otherwise, we know that we can also have, have I can say an equilateral triangle I can say. Okay. Or I can say a right angle triangle also I can say. Or I can also say an isosceles triangular lamina. Okay. Then we have this. So as you can see in this particular case, we have four sides but all the four sides are not same. So as you can see, the opposite sides are same. So since the opposite sides are same and the other I mean other adjacent sides are different, this corresponding to a, a rectangular lamina. Okay. Then I can consider this. So as you can see, this particular lamina has got all the four sides are same. Since all the four are same, we consider this to be a square lamina. Or as I was telling you, I consider this. So as you can see, this particular lamina has got five equal sides. So I can say regular polygon. So regular which polygon? I can say it is a pentagonal lamina. Okay. Then I can also consider this. So as you can see, this particular lamina has got six sides. Now since it has got six sides, we consider this particular plane figure as a hexagonal lamina or I can say simply hexagonal plane. Finally, I will consider this. So this can be considered to be a circular lamina. As you can 
holds. In all these cases, for example, if I hold this, I told you that it has got two dimensions. I said a polygon has got two dimensions. What are the two dimensions? If I consider this uh, rectangular lamina, it has got a longer side and a shorter side. So it has got two sides. Okay, so I can say one is length, I can say another is breadth. What about the thickness? So as you can see, thickness is considered to be unity. Because otherwise, if I say zero thickness, I cannot imagine a lamina. But still, we consider thickness to be unity or we have only two dimensions. So that's what we define a plane surfaces or a simple lamina. Now, we are interested to draw the projections of these particular laminas. Okay, anyway, now since I wanted to draw the orthographic views of these uh, plane surfaces, as usual, I need to consider the corresponding planes. Or I can say, I need to consider front view and top view. So if you want to consider front view and top view, I need to protect this particular lamina on HP as well as VP, which are perpendicular to one another. Okay. Generally, what we considered is, if I want to consider this particular uh, polygon or if you want to draw the ortho projection of this particular polygon, generally what we consider, we, con we consider that this particular lamina contained here itself. Let us say we consider this board itself as my vertical plane or VP. I can say it is contained here. Since it is contained here, we can draw the corresponding view there. That is, I can draw the front view directly. But remember, it all depending upon the orientation. Now. That is, if I hold it like this, so as you can see, if I want to draw the projection of this particular lamina, here I am considering this particular lamina is contained in VP and you know that whenever I want to draw the front view, I should know the HP details. So what is that HP details? As you can see in this particular case, maybe I would have given such that one of the sides this particular side is parallel because anyway this is a vertical plane, horizontal plane is like this. So now we can see that this particular side I need to specify, I need to specify whether this particular side is parallel to HP or it can be inclined to HP or it perpendicular to HP. That is, if I want to freeze the front view, I should know the position of one of the sides with reference to the other plane. So this holds good even if I consider the front. HP also. Okay, now since I am interested to draw the projections of this particular plane figures, generally we know that this particular plane surfaces has to be described with reference to HP and VP. So to do that, generally we consider different types of planes. So that's what I am going to do. Let us consider types of planes. Of course, with reference to HP and VP. Okay. So generally, we consider two types of planes. One is considered as perpendicular planes. One is considered to be perpendicular planes. And the second is considered as oblique planes. So we will consider these two cases. That is broadly, orthogonal projections can be drawn either with considering perpendicular planes or oblique planes. Okay, if I say perpendicular, so what are the perpendicular planes? As the name indicates, it should be perpendicular to one of the planes. Anyway, we are interested to draw the auto projection such that the position of this particular plane has to be described with reference to H and VP. Is it okay? Now, if I say perpendicular plane, okay, let us say I will hold in this way. If I hold like this, now I can say that this particular plane is perpendicular to one plane and parallel to other. Because anyway, I told them we are considering HP and VP. This is HP, horizontal plane. This is VP. Now, with reference to perpendicular planes, I can say we can consider three cases. So, what are three cases? Let us say I will hold it like this. So, in this particular case, the lamina is perpendicular to one plane and parallel to other. If you hold it like this, if you hold it like this, this particular lamina is perpendicular to both HP as well as VP. I can say second case. Now, I can also have a plane like this, but I am just indicating like this. They would say that this particular plane, still it is perpendicular to one of the planes. That is, let us say in this particular case, it is perpendicular to what? Perpendicular to HP, but it has become inclined to what? Inclined to VP. So, I can say that generally we can consider three different types. So, what are the three types now? So, I can say under this, I will say 
three cases. The first case is, let us say A. Perpendicular to both the planes. So don't get confused with planes with this plane surface. If I say perpendicular to both planes means, it is perpendicular to both HP and VP. Second case, I can say perpendicular to one plane and parallel to other. Then I can have the third case where I can say now perpendicular to one plane and what I should write now and incline to other. And incline to other. Now again since you have two planes now, I can have two different cases here, two different cases here. If I consider this perpendicular over the HP and VP, I will get one case. What about this perpendicular over one plane and parallel to other? Here I can say perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP, one case. Other case is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. Similarly, if I consider this case C, here I can say perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP or perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. So as you can see, we are going to get five different cases under perpendicular planes. So what I do now is, I will start explaining or I will demonstrate each case one by one. So let us start with the first case, case A, perpendicular to both the planes. 